must be here, uh, all of us uh, know uh, this evening. In the opening panel, four words came out quite clearly. More real sovereignty. This, teaches this trade deal, it's, it's sort of, in some sense, I've seen people describe it as a bit of a truce. Um, is, uh, is a win for the United States and really for all countries that want to see uh, uh, China abide by the rules. It allows the United States uh, the ability to impose uh, or, or, or really to enforce that deal. There's an enforcement mechanism that doesn't require arbitration and the like. So we've maintained enormous leverage in the form of the tariffs the President has uh, put in place. And now we're going to see whether China lives up to the terms that it just signed today. Proposition around infrastructure, around economic options, around funding. When you have a great firewall where not a single Western internet company has been able to prosper or survive in, in China by design, that's decoupling. When Christian churches are torn down and uh, ethnic minorities are put into re-education camps, that's decoupling. That history had left in the skin of our continent. What it really comes down to, though, is trust. You know, who do you want providing critical digital technology, your critical digital payment systems, uh, your social media, uh, critical infrastructure and the Internet of Things? Do you want it to be provided by suppliers that are beholden to regime-centric governments that are accountable to no one? Or do you want them to spring from citizen-centric societies that, that actually obey the rule of law? Decided to withdraw the Spanish troops we did it, and nothing. Russia, China, and Iran are, are forming a, a, a little bit of a, of a club. That's quite a trio. They just had uh, naval exercises recently. So that's quite a grouping for you. I mean, what principles do you think that trio talks about when they get together? I, I mean, seriously, when Tehran, Beijing, and Moscow get together, um, what's the conversation? Is it? Uh, what kind of software are you using to facially recognize peaceful protesters in your streets? Trade is one of the best examples of how we shedding. We are a very robust uh, democracy, and I have to say, in the face of uh, the experiences we've had in recent uh, weeks and months, we are resilient. Uh, I enormously appreciate every expression of goodwill and support. Uh, that I've received uh, since I arrived here in uh, New Delhi yesterday from uh, international friends uh, literally around the world uh, here in, uh, in India. Uh, it has been a challenging time and we very much appreciate uh, also those contributions of international support that have come from so many corners uh, in, uh, in assisting us.